Hi everybody, it's Lynn from Lynn's Crafts. I've just got a quick um, mixed media Monday. I'm just giving this little box a coat of black gesso. It looks like it's had some um, some indentions with a ball tool or whatever, but the gesso will probably cover that up. Alright, so this was just a, a treasure box that came from Walmart or Michaels or wherever. in the wood section all right so i'm just going to finish covering this with the black gesso hi my desk is getting messy starting to get a little bit of a complex going on and this too will pass Alright, the camera edited out when I put the little metal handles on. These just came from Wish. Um, I put them on with a little bit of 3D matte gel. That's pretty much. Alright, I've got um, some resin bits. These are from the... I don't know what it's called. <laughs> Art Nouveau Modes by Prima. Five Finna Bar. Alright. Uh, and. <clears throat> um, a set of wings from the Wings Mold. This one's also by Prima. The <clears throat> Excuse me. This was put out by Michaels, and I grabbed it while they had it, so. Okay, I've got um, pieces from both of these going on. And then I pulled out, I'm going to see if I can find a um, Amazon link. I've got an Amazon affiliate store. Um, I bought these off of Wish. I just don't want y'all to have to wait a month or longer for them to be delivered, so. But they're so awesome. There's so many in there. Alright, they're a bit shiny, some of them, but they take gesso just fine, so. Um, I've got the face mold. I'm not sure how much you can see of it the wings and I've got a few flowers weirdly enough flowers and sting punk gears but I'm gonna use the flowers to mainly fill in under the face they'll they'll poke out a little bit but that's what I'm gonna do um, I'll be back before I put any of this on I'm trying to decide what color I want the box to be. So, we've got the Deco Art Media Crackle Glaze. This is my favorite product. Um, gives you an awesome crackle glaze that you can then use the Deco Art Media Antique and Cream on which is my plan and it will give you oh, it just gives gorgeous results so once I figure out what color I want it to be I'll be back okay here's the <clears throat> here's the four colors I decided on they are the uh, Metallic Silver Spoon. 
the Sparks Ginger Magic, the Sparks Raven Black, and the Metallic um, Steampunk Copper, which looks a little more bronze to me. I love the color, whatever it is. <laughs> That's a few colors, but um, I just... I'm in love with all the <laughs> with all the metallic colors, so it was hard to choose. So my mind is telling me to start with silver. Once again, I'm just going to mix the colors on, on the surface. I should have them all open at the same time, but I don't have enough room here. This is that ginger magic. I'm pretty sure I haven't opened it yet. Yeah. Pretty. <clears throat> the coverage might not be as um as intense as I would like. So I may have to go over this again. I'm gonna try to go for the black a little more in the center. <clears throat> And I may not have opened the black either.
Okay, I finished up by just dragging the rest of the black over everything else. And really, depending on how you look at it, you can see a lot of colors or just gold. <laughs> so, what the heck. I'm going to do this all over the box and I'll be back. Sorry, I don't have my light on yet. I'll, I'll be sure and turn it on before I start recording the next time. I finished the whole box, and I, I I do really like the color it is. I'm trying to I'm trying to go for something different because I've pretty much used every color I can think of. <laughs> So this time is just going to be just a metallic. So I've started gluing some gears on the back of the face. Just using some crackle accents, glossy accents, whatever you have. I'm going to finish gluing on some of these. And then I'll give everything a coat of black gesso. And then I'll come back. Okay, I definitely apologize. For the sake of drying time, I went ahead and stuck everything down. Alright, so it will need another coat of gesso. At least here and there. Maybe not everywhere. But... Alright. Um, after a, a coat of gesso. Then I'm going to. Um, put some more acrylic paint on. Probably some. Contrasting colors. And then. Well. I'll be back and show you. I'm going to paint the embellishments one of the things I've decided is that <clears throat> two of the colors that you can't see very well are the silver and this ginger magic so that's what I'm gonna start with I don't know I don't know where I'm going with this but we'll see Okay, one of the things I've decided is you can't see the silver and this gin ginger magic very well. So, that's where I'm going to start. Uh, let me see. paintbrush had gotten a little stiff.
just 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 go for it just add a little bit of both and we're gonna see what what happens Okay, I've got the red rust from the rust effects paste set <clears throat> and a little bit of spray water. Uh, spray water. Uh, uh, uh. I'm just going to dab. In and around some of the embellishments. Not much, but just something to. Give just a little bit of shadow underneath. My spray bottle has really just about had it, but Okay, that's good so far. Alright, now I just need to let that dry. 
Okay, I've decided to not use the crackle glaze. Um, the top is just a little too busy. It would cover some of the details. So, I'm kind of call it quits. I could add some glitter or something, but I really don't think it needs it. Alright. So, there it is. Another Mixed Media Monday for y'all. Um, I'll try to list the products um, down below. I do have an Amazon affiliate store if you want to go check that out for some of the products. Please like, share, and subscribe. <laughs> Bye for now.